Hi, how you doing? Well, today we're going to do part three of building a crucible furnace. And um, uh, before I mention that, we'll get into all the explanation of what I did, how I'm doing, and what I'm doing. Uh, I want to mention that today is June the 6th, which is the anniversary of the D-Day invasion of Europe. And there was many, many D-Day invasions, but the D-Day, <laughs> there was a D-Day on... Uh, and Iwo Jima, there was a D-Day on Enzio in, in, in Italy. It's debarkation, it stands for. But the D-Day, when you talk about D-Day, is the one in Europe. And I want to recognize that. And all the men who sacrificed and died, young men and all died, to save our asses, really. And a lot of people forget that. But secondly, I want to show a small video clip of what I did last Saturday. Um, I went to the New Jersey Live Steamers. It's about an hour ride from here north. And they, I was a member of that club for a long time. I'm no longer a member. But they did a beautiful job on making a stationary uh, uh, steam engine plant. They have a beautiful steam en uh, stationary boiler, a little bigger than mine. They also have one this size. And they have all their uh, engines, and they have it set up with gauges. And it's really nice. So uh, take a look at this video and enjoy this part of the video. Then we'll get back to this. I'm at the New Jersey Live Steamers today, and this is um, the setup the members made to have their stationary steam engines all set up. Uh, very nice operation. I'm very impressed with the quality and the way it's been built. It's really nice. That's the steam table. That's the boiler here. That's uh, well, what's the pressure down? The pressure is. Uh, well, they're running about one, about 65 pounds. It's coal fired. And we have over here, see this way, this is a, this engine here, right here, this dual one is a marine engine that they had for years. They've been rebuilt again. It looks really nice. And they have a couple of other engines. They've been around here for years. Got a nice steam gauge up on a the wall there. And I'm very, very much impressed with this situation. Very nice. Very nicely done. Okay. Now we're back. All right. Now, what I did, modifications I made. I put a T-handle on this pipe. And why did I do that? Well, I drilled a hole all the way through, and the pin that goes through here, I now put in there. So now I could just go back on it and roll it around, you see, which is a good thing. Then you take the pin out. There's an R clip here. pull that out, pull the pin out and you put it over here like this and then you can open the lid, see? Now, we're going to fire it up and you can see out there in the background is the propane tank. It's just an ordinary propane tank. I've got four of them and I take them to a place and I exchange them. They no longer fill them anymore for, I guess, some, who knows, some, some law that some genius made up. But we filled them for years. Okay, so now you exchange them, which is a good thing because you get it right away. And um, I had it fired up yesterday, and you got to cure this at a very slow rate. Slow. It doesn't sound slow. You're going to hear it in a minute here. But it doesn't, isn't that slow. I mean, it isn't that pushing. It's a little bit of a slow fire. And it roars, but it's not the real melting temperature. Now, very simply, just take a piece of an ordinary, any kind of paper, anything, and I bought one of these things. It's a good thing to have at the dollar store. And uh, the gas is turned on over there, and I've got a shutoff valve here. And by the way, I should mention that I have a quick disconnect there. So I, when, I, when I shut the furnace down, I keep it on, and I turn the gas off over there, and it purges the whole pipe. And then I disconnect it and roll it up on the, on the tank, and it stores it real nice, and it's easy to hook up. So now I'm going to put this in there. I mean, this isn't rocket science, you know. You light it. You light it. See. 
if it gets caught, but this is asbestos. Must be. Okay, it's going now, and then you just crack the valve here. more juice on it. I don't think that's running out. They just got to warm up a little bit. It's working. Too much air. Now see how it's going. All right, now what I'm going to do is take these pieces of material here to steel and put it up under the lid so the lid isn't tight against the bottom. That gives it a little bit more chance to cure. Now, when, of course, when you're actually running, it's going to be down all the way. Now, you can see that in there that's swirling around nicely and it probably wasn't, it was too much air it was, or not enough air, or whatever. Uh, while we're just doing that, I want to show you some of the tools I made. Uh, let's see, okay. Here's the uh, tongs that I made. See them there? Just some steel made up and two pieces of half inch pipe. And picks up the crucible. Now, this is, of course, the, the crucible here and you put that like this and then of course you're gonna open that when it's down inside you gotta pick it up and then put it in the either in the crucible or in the shank pouring shank which I built here now this thing is tapered I don't know if you can see that but it's tapered see? It's got to fit the crucible. I don't want to have it just round. So I have made a template. It has to be curved. And I cut it out and rolled it and whatever. And uh, this is going to go in here like this. Of course, when it's cold, you can do it. But when it's hot, and you pick it up. Got the hot metal in there. Gloves on all, of course. And then you just pour. Now, I think I'm going to make a thing to go over here like this to hold it. It could fall out. So I'm going to make something on there to that'll slide on there and hold it. But uh, that come later. But anyhow, that's that. And then I also made a spoon out of stainless steel. It's all stainless, stainless rod, stainless here, and I dished it out and a uh, piece of stainless pipe. And it looks like a golf club, but what it is, is for going down inside here Scoop, skim the pot and just like that. That's the uh, dross to take the dross off. And the one final thing, Dan made it up yesterday out of some angle iron. Probably more than we need, but we had the angle, so is a ingot mold. Now you can buy these things or you can make them. It's just angle iron made into a W and then two sides on it. Weld it up, and you don't have to clean that or nothing. You just pour the excess metal in there. Now the thing is, when you're making the castings, you just continue to pour. In other words, you get the one melt going. You use that. Whatever's left, you start another melt. Just keep melting over and over until you're done pouring. Then the excess you then put in here. And the reason is you don't want to have that at the bottom of the crucible because it'll solidify, and then when it starts up again, it could burst the crucible as that metal expands quicker than the crucible does. So uh, that's why you need an angle mold. So now we have one. And the one other thing, one other thing is the plinth here, which I had in the, in the oven. I had in a regular oven. And I dried them out. And this is cardboard, an ordinary cardboard. I'm going to cut it in half. When you're ready to fire up, you put a piece on like that. You stick the crucible on top of this. This course burns up and it causes a piece of 
a layer of carbon which won't stick to either part. And that helps quite a bit. So we got that. And uh, I got to make a few other tools. But for the most part, that's cooking along now. Now you just let that go. And, and then after a while, when I'm firing it, when I'm running it, you'll see um, water start to come out the bottom. And as the water starts to come out, it's drying out. Now I got a 15 foot hose here. Now this here, you can get this, this is called from the Cajun shop. I guess for turkey fryers or whatever, deep fryer stuff. They have all the stuff, They're, it was uh, 79 bucks for the regulator and the 15 foot hose and all the quick disconnects I needed. Down to Home Depot, bought a quarter inch ball valve to shut it off and on. Works beautifully. The burner's in there, the real burner. I'm good to go. So I think what we're gonna do before we actually make the castings, we're gonna probably melt some metal and pour it in the ingot bowls just to try it. And uh, when we're all set, maybe this week, I don't know. But uh, I'm gonna have, eventually have, I got four tanks. Eventually I'll have two tanks teed together and draw off both tanks simultaneously. And the reason is that, so the tanks don't freeze up. Uh, and we're going to set up a rig up for that, and eventually I'll get it all set up. i got to make a uh, make it convenient so we can just bring it out, fire it up, start pouring, have the furnace, uh, the oven there. We need to, I need to work on that. And the next thing I'm going to be making and working on is the bell jar vibrating table and a gum rubber with the vacuum so we can invest, uh, vacuum the investment. And then I also have to make a vacuum chamber to actually put the flasks in, and I have to get the oven done and with the PIP, PIP to control the heat so it ramps and up and down. And the one other thing I'm waiting for is some fire, uh, some safety equipment. I got what they call spats now. Reason you need the spats is I've got sneakers on and that's to cover the sneakers because uh, if it should, boom, it's, the metal could go into my foot and just keep burning right through my foot. So the spats will help that. And I've got to have a jacket, a full jacket, leather jacket, and an apron all the way down, of course, gloves, and a, a face shield. Um, and of course, the, the only thing that it won't be just covered will be here. I might get one with a, with a, with a neck piece on it. So that anything goes up, you're, you're protected. And I only need one set because one person pours. Now, if we get eventually get into bigger crucibles, we need two sets or two pouring. Uh, we might do that, but for right now, we're doing lost wax investment and some small prototype parts in sand. Eventually, we're going to do that. So that's hopefully this summer. But um, I'm excited. Things are working beautifully. Look at that thing, man. It's cooking away. Wonderful. <coughs> Going right around. Going right around. I see it's starting to smoke a little bit. That's good. And people know around this place, you know, we got a lot of, you want to call them degenerates walking around here. They don't have no clue what I'm doing, not at all. When they come up to me, I tell them I'm melting gold. What the heck do they know? You know? But I'm happy to be here. And I got a place to work. I'm really looking around for something bigger, and we need twice as much space. We're about 100 feet long by 20, I need 40 by 60 or 40 by 50 by 60, something like that would be good. And I'm pretty sure that we'll fill that up real quick. We need a, an additional storage space, that stuff we don't use, like for instance, put the boiler in there and other things that we're not using uh, on a regular daily basis, like the uh, we have over here right out of the picture here is a engine hoist. I got a roller over here. I, I just used it yesterday day before yesterday to make that shank and uh, that's the first time I used it I think since I made the, the stack for that so which was three four years ago so I'm excited I'm happy moving along the uh, headlights were a great success sold them all out all 20 I uh, got five uh, finished headlights finished and sold, so I, I deem that whole project a success. 
I'm excited about it and um, worked out great and just like just came out really great thanks to Jay, Jay JG for, uh, uh, Conversions LLC. You can look them up if you want to have them do anything for you. And uh, I'm excited. Everything's cool. Everything's great. So uh, next time you see this running, hopefully we'll be melting metal. So um, we'll see you again on the next video. And don't forget to subscribe. I've just received 1,043,000 views, and that's exciting to me. So please subscribe, and we'll see you again on the next video. And thanks for watching.